significant heat, dry terrain, and high winds for those growing infernos. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Some strong wind pushing through southern Idaho right now and the Boise area. You take a close look right in here and this is our, our red line camera and there's dust in the air. We can see it. we're getting wind gusts on the east side of Boise, especially over 30 miles an hour and you go a little further east over 40 to maybe even 45 miles per hour. But that dust and that wind continues to push to the north. The further west you are of Boise, the less effect that wind will have on you. But we're going to keep an eye on many other thunderstorms that are nearby. Now, the airport last hour showed south of 13, but I'm sure they've had some higher wind gusts since this report temperature down to 91 degrees after being close to 100 degrees. But again, over downtown Boise, we've got some strong wind southeast Boise. Uh, hopefully the batten down the hatches because we'll have wind gusts in some places could touch 50 miles per hour. Again, in eastern sections and towards Lucky Peak uh, again, Spring Shores area. That's a good possibility with that storm system right there as it tracks to the north over Boise. Look at the cluster of showers and storms pushing up into Elmore County as well and another line developing to the west here heading towards the Weezer area after passing over Vail with some very heavy rain. Let's focus in on our Boise storm system right now. It went right over the Doppler radar site. The Doppler radar can't see above and so it's difficult sometimes with these storms coming in from the south to see actually how well they're developing. But you've got some heavy downpours right in this region right here. And this is going to push right over downtown Boise and there's like a lot of wind as I mentioned with a gust run upwards to 50 to 55 mile per hour wind not out of the question especially from this line westward here and this is the core area where most of the wind is. In fact, I want to show you this is a wind velocity map that the radar looks at. The brighter red you see, that's where we're getting wind gusts up of at least 40 miles per hour, maybe a little higher. We see it up under the foothills here now. We had a wind gust here at 41 miles per hour in southeast Boise. But you go to the west and the breezes are a little less. There's still going to be gusty wind, but our strongest wind will come with this storm system. And this right here is heading towards downtown Boise even further to the west. And so even west Boise getting winds over 35 to 40 miles per hour, certainly not out of the question. A lot of the lightning is disappearing with the storm as it moves to the north, but there's a lot of precipitation with it as well, pushing up to the north and some wind also. Here are the western storm systems. This is the one that's tracking just on the west side of Weezer. You've had some wind push on through there, getting some blowing dust as well. Went right over the Vail area earlier. Hunting, uh, Huntington, Oregon may get a portion of this storm system as it pushes up into Washington County. Now further to the south, look at Homedale. You're under the gun here with this storm system tracking in your direction. Parma, you've had some wind. By the way, this right here, I haven't tracked it yet with the uh, velocity profile as we call it, but that is a gust front coming on in, and that could have wind gusts of 35 to 45 miles per hour, and that is tracking towards the Caldwell area. By the end of the show, I'll go and take a look at what the numbers are in that storm system, and we'll see how the wind is. So again, gusty erratic wind likely all across the region this evening. Over the next couple of hours, red flag warnings down to the south as well as we've got dry conditions. It is hot everywhere where temperatures have been in the 90s. The future cast shows that all of the storm activity goes through and we could have some pretty significant stuff moving through later tonight in the West Central Mountains. But by tomorrow morning, it's all gone. Skies are clear. A few isolated showers in the mountains tomorrow afternoon. Then during the day Wednesday, there's a chance for an isolated shower pushing through. Shouldn't be as bad as today, but we'll tend to dry on out after that. Here's my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. We've got Gusty wind coming in tonight, upwards to 50 miles per hour in some locations. Keep an eye to the sky there and stay inside when those storms push on through. 90 degrees in Ontario, but tomorrow we drop that temperature from near 100 today down to 88 in Boise, so about 12 degrees cooler. We'll be in the 80s in the Boise Mountains as well, with a chance for a couple of storms in the West Central Mountains early on. You'll notice these locations here primarily in the 70s in Long Valley. A quick check of what's happening in Stanley Sun Valley. Temperatures primarily in the 70s, while the Magic Valley, you'll get into the 80s. Let's take a look at my underside extended forecast here. 80s for much of the rest of the week, except the weekend. Now we get up to 94 degrees again, so the heat is going to return. But look at all that sunshine that will return. We're just getting through some very heavy weather going on in downtown Boise yeah. now in many parts of the valley. 50 mile an hour wind tonight, so just kind of stay inside, let it all pass. Oh yeah, but the rest of the forecast looks great. The question is, how big of a fire threat from all of this? You know what, the fire threat, we don't have a red flag warning over us, but we've got wind and there's lightning nearby, so we may be dealing with some new fire starts tonight. We're gonna keep an eye on that as well. Okay, thanks Scott, appreciate it. Well.